Welcome back to Authors and Artists, or Artists and Authors. I always forget which is which. They're equally important to us, artists, authors, and musicians, all kinds of art and expression we celebrate on this show. Now, we started Central Valley Talk over 10 years ago uh, because we got tired of people saying there's nothing to do in Fresno. Then we expanded to the whole valley. Is there nothing to do in the Central Valley? Well, we find there's something to do every single day. In fact, I'm proposing we take a day off just once a year and have nothing to do. Uh, just kidding. Now, uh, there's something big happening out in Clovis, uh, and our friend Gail da- Daly from uh, the Clovis Art Guild, Clovis Art Guild. Um, is going to tell us about it. And it's a show? or it is, it? it is a, a, an art show. Um, we, we have um, done this art show for, it was started in 1957, so this art show has been every, a yearly thing. It's in conjunction with the, the rodeo. Yeah. It, it has a special theme. Um, we call it the the, uh, but there are, uh, I think six categories open, and um, that are open to any subject matter. And by the way, the, the name is the annual Old West and Rodeo Art Show. The rodeo is always the last full weekend in April. Yes. So this starts a week before and runs through. We, it, I guess. we actually start the Monday before the rodeo Monday starts. Before. Okay. The that's when uh, the show will open. Receiving will be that Saturday. Now I was going to ask. Is it a Western theme? But what are the categories? Well, we have categories. We have the Old West, the Rodeo, and the Western Way of Life, which is our theme. But we also have um, open categories, uh, oils, acrylics, watercolors, pastels, drawing and graphics, mixed media, and 3D sculpture. Um, those, those are all open to any, any subject matter. Okay. To qualify for the Old West and Rodeo, your subject matter, can, it can, and it can be in any, any art medium, must uh, cover the old west or the or the rodeo, um, the west or the western way of life, and we had one year that uh, best of show was actually a bunch of people sitting in a, going on a hayride, so <laughs> that is that is one of the things that we do now during this the uh, the show, we also do um, we do a special award which was um, created to honor one of our founders, and as I as I said earlier the. Clovis Art Guild has actually been in, in official existence since 1957, mm-hmm. which you and I were still babies yep. back then. You said it's the oldest in the valley. As far as I know, it's the oldest in the valley. It was around before that, but they met in people's homes, and there was no official thing. But we have been at the Clovis, Veteran, Clovis Veterans Memorial District uh, since 1957. Okay. And we do hold meetings uh, every uh, second Wednesday, except for um, October through January when we take our members take time off take to spend, break, yeah. spend the holidays with their family but we do clovis does three uh open juried art shows a year now a juried mm-hmm. art show means that it's going to be judged by a paid judge okay pretty much just somebody who knows their business somebody that, and we always try and, and we we try and get someone local but occasionally we have had people that have had a wider mm-hmm. things i believe Susie stack will be doing the uh show this year and she's very famous here in Fresno, she's um, she's got art in all kinds of places all over the country, but she is lives Based in Fresno. Here. But okay. she lives in Fresno. We prefer somebody that lives in Fresno. <laughs> you said there's a special award. Yes, a special award. It's called a Mary Krause Award, and it's given in honor of the found, one of the founding members, Mary Krause, and it's recognition of the entry that shows the greatest skill and knowledge of basic art principles. Okay. And that is that's a little little separate special award that we do every year um, for the um, Old West and Rodeo Art Show. We do have the um, the winning category in that particular theme. The rodeo is always very kindly yep. uh, sent us a a um, hundred dollar prize to put with it. How nice! As as part of that, so that one gets its own separate thing. It doesn't come out of the entry fees. Which most of the awards will come from the entry fees. Mm-hmm. Now the um, in, in honor of another member, we've we we've, we've done it for years, but we had this is we didn't give it an official name until Gene Butler passed away, mm-hmm. because he always handled it for us. But it's the Gene Gene Butler Scholarship Awards, mm. and it's open basically to any uh, high school uh, in Fresno or Clovis, public and private. Um, the teacher must submit the paintings, okay. and uh, the the uh, scholarship is divided between um, the, um, the schools. Okay. 
Okay. So one one student from each each entering school will be awarded the scholarship. Oh, nice. nice. So if you're an art teacher and you're watching, you have to submit, select something from your mm -hmm. students, and it should have a Western theme. Yes. Well, no, it doesn't actually have to okay. have the the student. This is totally separate okay. show. So we had so a girl one year that did this absolutely wonderful thing of strawberries, and when you looked at them very closely, they were actually little spiders, ah. which was just like. Oh, this is that beauty. And they got close. Oh my lord, look How at that! Creative. But she was very creative. It was yeah. beautifully done. Um, the um, the student art. Uh, there there are flyers on the uh, for this. Our student art liaison is Dave Boothby, and uh, he is his phone number and information. There's a contact number on the website okay. that they can. By they the way, it's them. ClovisArtGuild.com. What an easy website! Yes. ClovisArtGuild.com. I've already memorized it. Yeah, it's very very simple and. As I say, the the um, uh, Western art or this uh, this particular art show, we ha we will be having uh, an artist reception uh, Thursday, April twenty fifth, from five to eight, okay. and that is when that for um, that's when we give out the awards ceremony. Clovis does not we don't mail out awards okay. because that kind of defeats the purpose yeah. of, of it as far as we're concerned. So you you if you uh, you must be physically come in person to pick up your award. If you can't make it for the reception, then you have then you'll have to wait till you get it at the uh, when you pick up your art. Okay. Now uh, this is coming up twenty second. Yes. Is it too late to enter? Oh no, we haven't. Uh, these the entries are all physical. You bring your you bring your art. The way you enter is you show up with some art. You show up with some art at the Clovis Veterans Memorial District. We're we're all usually in the veterans room. Yeah. And um, and then you enter it. The receiving is from um, Saturday, April twentieth, from from ten a.m. to noon. Okay. And if you get there afternoon, that's I'm sorry, but so there's a two hour window. Yeah, it's a two hour window. Uh, we um, we have a little potluck for the workers that help during mm -hmm. that that hour, and then the next the judge starts, starts judging right away right that afternoon, and we hang okay. it that afternoon. Okay. The show isn't open on Sunday because it's it's Easter. So, okay. but it will open on Monday for viewing, and uh, the hours for uh, for viewing are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And will they they already been awarded by then? Yes. Okay. They will they will have the awards posted with them. So you show up on uh, April 20th to enter your art Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday to <laughs> enter your art. And by Monday, you know how you did. Yes. And it's I, I bet a lot of artists like the jury thing, you know, kind of a peer peer review and it is kind of a peer review and also um we have a little thing little informal contest that when you come in to look at the art, uh all the art is numbered mm -hmm. and you put it you pick out your favorite one by the art number and you stick it in a box and at the end of the show we award the People's Choice Award. People's Choice. Very good. Which is very quite a bit of fun. Well that's exciting. Now what about if somebody goes to the rodeo parade on Saturday? Would, would they be able to go over and see the art? Uh, it won't be open on uh, Saturday. Will be the day we're receiving and judging, and the judging is always closed. Mm -hmm. I think it's the next Saturday, the parade, isn't it? Yes, yes. They would see. They would be able to, if they could come in that Saturday. They can see yeah. it the the last uh, Saturday on the twenty seventh. Right. Then absolutely, they can come in and and see the art. So if you there. go to the rodeo parade, almost anywhere on the parade route, you just walk to Fifth Street, go east, and you're at the Memorial Building. You can see the art, mm -hmm. and uh, also Sunday. They can see it too. The twenty yes. uh, twenty eighth. Yeah, the twenty eight. We're actually going to be um, open there um, at at uh, six. We'll be taking down the art and removing it. Or actually, about five p.m. is is when art pickup is. Well, I tell you, after the parade, just the town goes crazy. You can't drive anywhere anyway. So just walk over and see the art. That'll be a absolutely good, a fun thing. Take your whole family and inspire your kids to do that. The, and this is a very, this is all is a very family friendly friendly show. Now, will you have some art? Yes, I will be. If I get it finished, mm -hmm. uh, I will be <laughs> entering a piece. Will it be Western style? Um, I'm, the one I'm working on right now is actually a, uh, I took some photos up. We have some friends that own the Columbia Inn mm -hmm. up there in Columbia, and I took some photos at the Columbia State Park of the stagecoach and things like that. So it's actually showing the stagecoach unloading, and I've, I'm going to have their inn in the background because nice. it's nice. But I used to say it's only, only about half done. Is it an oil? No, it's acrylic. Acrylic. As I, I say, do people show up sometimes and it's still wet? You know? uh, well, we have had that happen, and we ba basically have to tell them, I'm sorry, um, we can't accept anything that's, that's oils that aren't dry because right. we, we won't be responsible for smearing it. Yeah. And yeah. plus that, I don't know how aware of, of it you are. Not. Oil paints, um, when they're getting dry, they fume. Oh. 
and it stinks. It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> so artists in their studios have to have windows or some yeah. Kind they, of if they're painting with oil paint, they should have. A, they should, for safety's sake, they should have a bent. Well, I'm glad to hear this is going on. Talk about nothing to do, you know, in our neighborhood. There certainly is, and this is an exciting thing. And uh, people, some probably have been working all year getting their art ready. Some probably and some are still trying to complete it in time. But you could go in there Guilty. on the 20th. You walk in with your art. That's how you enter. But between 10 and noon. Between 10 a.m. and noon. Does it, you pay a little money to enter? Yes, it, it, there is an entry fee. Uh, if you are a member, you pay $5 less. But the uh, the entry fees are $25 per art piece. Okay. And uh, I know that people say, oh, that's high, but quite truthfully, that's where we get the money to make right. the awards, the prize, the prize money, because we do give out monetary awards for first, first, second, and third place. And as I said, the special theme, all, the rodeo almost always puts up a, an award for that. Right. Um, the uh, We give out honorable mentions, which don't get any money right. for the categories. And also um, for the, for the uh, scholarship awards, the students... They they get their they get the scholarship money, but Allard's Art Supply generally supplies a gift card for them. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so that was very nice. Art for supplies are expensive. Oh they yes, can be expensive. It's a expensive uh, hobby or livelihood, whichever way you're approaching it. Just go to clovisartguild.com. That's the best way to find out everything. Uh, everything's there. If there's a phone number you need, that's going to be there. Mm -hmm. How do you enter? What you do to enter? All that is 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 right there on the clovisartguild.com. Um, and it's an old West and Rodeo art show, been going on for 50, 60 years. Yes. 60 some years. I don't want to say because then that makes me think of how old I am. Uh, well, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it is. <laughs> Anything else you need our viewers to know? Uh, not really. Uh, there is, um, there are a student flyer on, uh, on the, uh, they, all they have to do is look under Gene Butler's scholarship okay. on the, um, on the menu of the, of the website. And there's a teacher's flyer, and there's also an entry form for the students. The students, um, we had to, had to adapt a special entry form for the students because, um, of course, it has to have the school and the teacher's name and all this kind of stuff, which okay. it d didn't normally, um, the n normal entry form doesn't have that. The normal entry form just simply is a, uh, shows this, you know, which is uh, artist information. Students, one scholarship for per high school mm -hmm. it's going to be given out it makes your your prospects extremely high and uh what a way to get started and win an award you're getting ready for college and mm -hmm. you go to college when you're applying award-winning artist you know things yeah like oh that. yes so. and as i say we've had um the uh one of the girls that was she entered the show as a student about uh actually every year that she was in high school her teacher brought her painting over her name was paxton let's see if i can pronounce it right Herrenberger, and uh, she is going to college now. But uh, the students always get a free membership if they oh, enter, nice. providing yeah. they fill out the form so we know where to send send yeah. our monthly newsletter. But uh, she get, wrote a very nice thank you note for all the encouragement and That's nice. that, that uh, we gave her over the years. Okay. We, uh, anything else you want our viewers to know? Uh, not really. Just we look – Clovis looks forward to uh, putting on this show every year. This is our biggest show. Uh, we do two other shows a year, but they're one's in July and the other one's in the fall. Now, uh, just to recap, the annual Old West and Rodeo Art Show. The show will be the, from the April 22nd to 28th, but you can enter on the 20th only by showing up with your art, paying a small fee. But you got to show up between 10 and noon. Uh, I'm more of a viewer and appreciator. I don't make art like this, so um, I will be there sometime between the 22nd and 28th. And for any information, go to clovisartguild.com. And our guest is Gail Daly. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be back with more right after this.